Hello guys, welcome back to the Beastie Room. Now, um, we had a rehousing last time, so this time we're going to have a pairing video. Now, we are going to attempt to pair the Afanapelma uh, Chalcodes, or the Arizona Blonde. Now, these are a fairly common spider within the hobby, but we don't actually see many attempts to breed them. Um, Males can be a little bit few and far between. You know, you don't see any, and then all of a sudden a couple come along. Um, we were fortunate enough, we've got two adult females that um, we have in the collection, and um, and I've been waiting for a male for some time. And then uh, our good friend Andy Green, um, he bought a Chalcodes as a female, and that then turned out to be a male. So... Unfortunate for Andy, but fortunate for us. So we purchased that off of Andy and um, we brought it home. And so now we've got two females that we want to try and pair up. Um, it was an interesting courtship, or lack of courtship, I should say. But, um, and it only took around about, I don't know, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and it was all over and done with. So it was a very, very quick pairing. Um, and not a great deal going on as such compared to some of the other spiders. When we paired them, they've been real fancy. There's been lots of stuff going on. These, very, very different. So um, without further ado, let's go over and have a look and see what they got up to. And, uh, and you can draw your own conclusions. All right. We'll be back shortly. See you in a minute. Well, today we are going to attempt to pair our... Afanapelma Chalcodes, or the Desert Blonde. Now this is a spider that um, we don't see paired very often. There's not a lot of footage of pairings of these that I've seen. And um, males are sort of few and far between. You don't hear of any, and then all of a sudden a couple have come along together. And um, this was a male that came in from our good friend Andy Green. Uh, one of them typical stories. It was uh, bought as a female, a sexed female, and uh, it matured into this lovely male. So that suited us. So we purchased this from, from Andy, and uh, we have two really nice females, one of them which you can see here now. And uh, hopefully we can get these guys paired up. And as you can see, the males look very different from the females. We get a bit of focus going on. You can see the large pedipalps there. And also there, you can see the tibial hooks on those two front legs. Quite large hooks for a size spider. Now, as you may well know, these guys are um, throughout Arizona and that. And um, they see the, the people that live there are lucky enough to see these large sort of migrations of males all out searching for females must be an absolutely wonderful sight something i would really like to see there's our female she's in absolutely pristine condition really really nice and they've got that lovely uh creamy color now she hasn't moved a muscle nothing even now when he stood up beside her Nothing at all. We've seen no interaction from her whatsoever. Now he's done the odd little bit of vibrating. Odd movements. Here he goes. Just that little rocking. See her in the background. Nothing at all. Look at that. He's even touched her there. Still nothing. Oh. I think she's just woken from her slumber. You see that? As soon as she sort of moved, he stopped. So they're probably just gauging one another now. This is the interesting part. You know, what are they actually saying to one another right this moment? Because all we ever really do is we get the visual side. But I'm sure there's much, much more. You know, it's how she literally jerked a couple of times, spun round. And there you go, he's pushed her up. She's obviously very, very willing and very ready. 
Now we've not bred these before, so this is going to be an interesting thing. We've not um, we've not sort of cycled this female with temperature or anything like that. We've kept her pretty much standard, and uh, say this male come along, and we've we've got another female as well. So I thought, right, we'll try them and we'll see what happens. I do believe some of these, uh, like some of the brackies, they can really do with a cool period, maybe. You see the man, he's literally throwing her around there. It's very difficult to actually see what's going on when they're like this. And this was quite a difficult pairing to actually film. We didn't get a lot of, you know, very, very good footage. Most of what we're seeing now is just those tussling away. But the good thing was they got on with it straight away. And you can see he's literally not messing around. He's got to push right the way back. See the difference in the legs now. The female got them lovely creamy coloured legs and blonde legs. And uh, our male dark black legs. Also see there the red settee on the abdomen there. Absolutely beautiful. So this is a spider that at one time was exceptionally common. And um, we still do see them in numbers at different times of the year. Where And these, these spiders will have been um, wild caught specimens that are brought into the hobby. So they are still collected in large large numbers um, and it sort of begs the question is will they end up going the same way as the Chilean rose you know will they end up becoming endangered in their natural habitat which would be an absolute travesty if, if that was to happen so we've got a spider here that is relatively common within the hobby but in years to come, it may end up just like the Chilean rose, where it's um, a very, very sought-after spider nowadays and demands a high price. And you can see our female there, she is pushed right the way back. And he is in a prime position, and I'm pretty sure that he's managed so far to inseminate her once or twice. I was trying to actually see around so we could see, but it was very difficult to, to actually tell what was going on. But I think he has managed. There you go, look at that. You see he's throbbing now. Maintaining that contact all the time. And as you can see, we've, we've seen nothing from our female at all. She just seems to be a willing partner. And uh, he's not been given any trouble whatsoever. It's so interesting to see how these different species of spiders behave in such different ways. Some of them chat for ages before they finally get down to actually first contact. And then others like these just bumble into one another and uh, away they go. As you can see now, he's actually holding her up. He's still vibrating, he's still moving. She's done nothing apart from being absolutely subservient, really, to everything that's going on. So this makes me wonder whether their actual pairings are quite a gentle affair. And um, hopefully, our male is inseminating as we speak. So what we will do is um, we will get this pairing over and done with. Then we will rest him up, wait for a sperm web. We've had many, many people asking us, I've put my mail in once, we've seen the insemination, when can I put him in again? We always wait for the male to make a sperm web. Now they normally do this within 24 hours. If they don't, you're just going to have to be patient and wait until he does. There is no point putting him back in 
without him first making a sperm web. It's very rare we ever put a male back in without getting that sperm web, unless it's gone some weeks. And then sometimes we will cohabit, if at all possible, we will cohabit our male. And this sometimes will spur him on to making a sperm web. But generally speaking, they'll do it within 24 hours and you're good to go. And there you go, he's held her up there. I'm sure they're working away as we speak. There you go. Now look at that. You see he's changed his he's changed his position now and he's actually moving away. And this is what makes me think that he has already inseminated her. You see how he's trying to get her at arm's length? She's starting to be a little bit jumpy as well. This is sort of oh, yeah, look at that, he's holding his pedipaps high. This is normally a sign that he's done the job and he's looking to retreat. He's held them up way up high, get them out of the way so they're not in any danger. You don't want them damaged. There you go, he's backing off now. Yep, she's seeing to him that she's like, yep, you can go. And there you go. That was it, over and done with. No dramas, nice and easy. What a lovely looking female that is. So now all we have to do now is once our male has escaped, He's moved out of the enclosure. He's actually on the desk. We can box him up and uh, get him in a nice, you know, back in his own home where he's safe. And then uh, we'll give him a feed, give him the water. There you go. There's his box. So we'll get him back in there. And then we can um, see about sorting our female out. So she's literally sat there. She's quite happy. Now, it's nothing unusual. This particular one spends her whole time sitting outside. Never goes in that hide. Always sitting outside. So hopefully that was a good insemination and uh, we can look forward to getting them paired up again. Now the next female that he will see will be our other female. So we'll do her first and then we'll come back and we'll try a second time with this one. There you go, she's just having that little bit of a stretch there. A little bit of a move. Lovely spiders, got such cool colouring on these. And look at that, in absolutely perfect condition. What a wonderful pairing. Let's hope we're successful. Well, like I said, it was pretty... Um, she she didn't show any any signs at all, which is quite unusual. Um, we sometimes worry a little bit if a, if a female sits and doesn't do anything, that sometimes ends up with her springing into action and chasing the male off. Now this one literally did, did nothing. Not that we saw. We didn't see anything there at all. And then he even managed to make contact with her and was had his legs on her a couple of times before she actually finally moved. It was almost like she was in a deep sleep. Now, um, I am sure that when they're, when they're there like that, there is contact there. They're talking to one another. There's, there's no way that they can just be avoiding each other like that. There is a communication. We obviously don't see it. And, uh, and this is what I find so fascinating, is that all the stuff that goes on that we just don't know. So we can only guess at what's going on and then through multiple pairings of different species and the same species we can slowly piece together some of this and try and make some form of um, information out of it and uh, and try and make some sense of it all as well now you would have seen there as soon as as soon as she reacted he literally pushed her up and they were on it straight away so it's going to be really interesting now when we try and with the other female to see how she responds whether she does exactly the same thing or whether she you know responds in a different way maybe she'll communicate more i don't know it's really really exciting so we're going to um, we're going to rest this male up for like a week um now, we said in the video there, many people ask, you know, I've paired my, my spiders, I've taken my male out, when can he go back in for another go? Well, 
The truth is, is you need to wait for him to make a sperm web. He must make a sperm web first. We've paired many, many spiders. And in the early days, we did used to, um, literally, we would pair one male, and if he came out, he was good. Sometimes, if he seemed like he was still up for it, we'd put him straight in with another female and, um, and see what happened there. But one of the things that we noticed over a period of time was whenever we'd done that, that second pairing was very, very rarely, if ever, successful. So we started to realize that, you know, once they've actually, they've inseminated that female, they have used up what sperm they had in their emboli and it's gone. So the male literally um, unloads all of that sperm in that particular pairing and then he will go away and he will make a new sperm web, produce more and load them up again. And um, so it's important that you wait for your male to make that second uh, sperm web. Once he's done that, it normally within 24 hours of him actually copulating with a female, normally within 24 hours, they've normally made another sperm web and they're ready to go. Uh, sometimes they take a little bit longer, a couple of days, but generally 24 hours is normally a safe bet they've done it. Now, um, if for argument's sake your male doesn't make a sperm web, and you've waited, and a week goes by, maybe another week goes by, two weeks, and nothing still. If it's a spider that is cohabitable with a female, say, for argument's sake, say something like um, a Metallica or a Regalis with the pokies, they quite often will cohabit in a large enough enclosure. They will cohabit together quite well. Sometimes that will make them um, make a sperm web immediately. Um, we've had it with ours when we cohabit our spiders. We put them in and then we, we just watch them because nine times out of ten when they're cohabited, it's in the dead of night that they get it on and we don't get to see it. So the only thing that we get to actually give us a clue as to has he inseminated that female is we look for him making another sperm web. And once we see him making another sperm web, we know he's done the job. So then we can pull him out try him with another one, or we can leave him in, let him go again. So um, yeah, there's lots of different little telltales that can help you along the way. Breeding is a fas fascinating um, part of the hobby. It really is. It takes a little bit of patience, and uh, you know you need to be calm, really try to understand your spiders, and get them ready before you introduce. It's so important that they're both ready. You're better off um, being patient than just throwing them in. If you just throw them in, chances are you'll lose your male. So we need to try and preserve our males. Right, so that was that. A cool pairing. We will try him again. As soon as he's um, done his sperm, we will try him on the second female. Right then. Now, I'd like to give a little shout out now to J Gillian 8013 one of our subscribers. Now, Jay messaged us um, and had watched the video, and um, it was, I believe, the last video that we done. So the um, Earth Tiger, the Shadetti. Now, Jay had put on one of his messages earlier on that um, he was in hospital, having some trouble with, the, with his leg and what have you. Well, unfortunately, he's messaged now, and they have, in fact amputated uh, the leg below the knee. So poor Jay is in hospital with nothing better to do than to watch our videos. And I am so glad that um, they are keeping you um, in what? In good spirits, shall we say. Um, and, it's, and it really made me wonder when I, when I read that message, on the comments and some of you others would have gone through and you would have read the same comment um i was i, I was in a shop and uh there was someone there and they were just complaining about waiting in the queue and just moaning you know generally and i sat there and i thought wow you know and it got me thinking about that particular comment because it doesn't matter how down you get or how fed up you are or you know how life is treating you at this very moment in time there is always someone out there having a harder time. And uh, so, you know, with that in mind, let's, all of us watching this video, 
send Jay our very best wishes and uh, hoping for a speedy recovery. And uh, stay strong, my friend. You know, it's, it's an amazing thing. Um, you know, the fact that you're able to just sit there and comment on our videos and things like this in, in a time that is, is really, really rough. You know, we cannot even begin to imagine how rough that situation must be. So, um, yeah, from here in the Beastie Room, we're sending you all our love and uh, best wishes, and I'm hoping you get a speedy recovery. And if everyone else can do the same, you know, be an awesome thing, you know. Let's spread the love, show Jay just how much we care. Right then, hopefully you get to see this one watching in the video, in, in your hospital bed, and it will cheer you up, put a bit of a smile on your face. That's the plan, that's what we want. Right, and on another positive note, we are going to be on um, Scott's Inverts. Many of you know I'm a, I'm a staunch um, supporter of Scott. I really like Scott. He does some wonderful stuff within the, uh, within the hobby and the community as well. You know, he's always there helping people and doing things. And, and he's built up a really, really good um, channel on, on YouTube. And also with, um, with the messenger groups and things like this. You know, it's, it's a really, really friendly place to be. And we all know that this hobby can be quite volatile and uh, can be just downright nasty at times. So... If you're one of them people that just want some good, honest chat and, um, you know, and just an enjoyable time, head over to Scott's Inverts, join the groups, get involved with the chats. There is no, no dramas there. It's such a lovely, lovely place to be. So make sure you check it out. We are going to be doing a live with Scott um, on Friday the 20th. So not this week, but next week. So the Friday before the week of Christmas sort of thing. Uh, and we will be doing a live there. He's put um, posts out on Facebook so you can get involved with them. And um, yeah, and do your best to come along and we're going to have a bit of a chat. I think it's going to be just a general talk about all sorts of stuff, really. So we just sit and have a chat. And um, yeah, if you know, if you get on there and you watch it, get on the comments. You know, if you've got any questions, throw them down there and we'll, we'll do our best. The pair of us will do our best to answer any questions that you have. And um, hopefully it will be a really cool evening. Now we haven't done a live with Scott for quite some time now. It has been quite some time. So um, this will be really nice to, to sort of get back on there. We always have a good evening. We always have a good laugh. And um, hopefully all you guys can come along and enjoy it as well. Now, what else we got? We, um, we put a shout out on our last video about calendars. That was very, very popular. We have sent calendars all over the world, literally all over the world. Um, we, we've been everywhere. They, they, they've been everywhere. So there isn't very many left. There is literally a handful left. So if anyone's keen on one, you really do need to get in there and do it now because they are gone. And when they're done, they're done. We're not going to do, not going to reprint them. That will be it. So when this slot's finished, that's it. It'll be finished. So they are almost all sold out. So I'm very pleased and I am so glad they've gone down so well. Everyone seems to absolutely love them. Now, don't forget, if you want to do um, things like uh, all you guys abroad, we can send merch all over the world. We do. We send it everywhere. Um, but we can't send livestock, unfortunately can only do merchandise um, around the world so it's only livestock is only in the UK now that brings me to another point with uh, Scott's channel he will be doing a Christmas special on Christmas Day which is a fantastic thing because there's lots of people out there that are um, either spending Christmas on their own or you know haven't got very many family or friends around them so you know for whatever reason they might just not be where they are you know it might be work it might be anything that has taken them away from their friends and family so christmas can be a bit of a quiet time so scott does the thing on his channel we um will be hoping to pop in as well and say hello to everybody and um, he's doing a massive big 
um, raffle come giveaway thing on the channel and there's been lots and lots of people have donated different prizes and stuff like that so from what I understand um, there there is a chance for overseas um, subscribers to get in on the action and hopefully you know might win something or do something but you've got to get involved you've got to play the games right so that's enough about that there's a lot going on today an awful lot going on today right well i hope you're all keeping well and don't forget be calm be gentle and love your spider and i will see you soon guys